What's going on YouTube? Today I'm here to show you how to replace this outer door handle on this 2002 Toyota Tacoma. Now this will apply to most of your Toyota trucks of this body style. Just like that. Now if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so I can continue to make videos like this to make your life easier. Anyways, enough talk let's get started I think I got all the tools here to handle this if not we'll be walking back to my toolbox I'm working outside today it's a little bit uh, overcast so I think the rain's gonna hold up though it's been raining all morning now it stopped so hopefully it don't start raining on me again if so I'll we'll have to pause this video and pull it in the shop there's no available bays right now though Generally, a lot of stuff like this I'll do outside if the weather permits it. First, we're going to do is take this Phillips screwdriver and take out this Phillips head bolt. Out of the door handle, you slide it forward like that. Pull out. And this little clip right here, you just swing back like that. Pull out. Don't break that clip. Alright, now we're going to pop out this uh, window switch here. Very carefully. Without breaking that. Now you're going to want to roll the window up first. Alright. Now let's unplug that bad boy. Pushing that tab in. Pull out. Same with this tab, push down, pull out. All right, pop that off. Makes the door panel easier to pull up. All right, now look on the sides. Make sure there's no bolts on the sides, which I don't think there is. You can pop out the bottom, there's no bolts. You're just gonna reach under. You can take a screwdriver too and pull out on the snap clips. And we also got two uh, 10 millimeter bolts here. That little cover's missing on that side. So. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, they're Phillips head. They're not. They don't have a, a socket head on them. I thought they did. That's okay. Now, they don't want to fall out, just grab your little handy dandy magnet, pull them out. Self tappers always come out tight. All right, fist that out. Those two are the same, so it doesn't matter which position you put them in. There, your door panel's free. Now we're going to pull up on it and get it off that lock. Now he has an aftermarket speaker in here, so we got to be careful not to rip the wires out of that. There's enough length on that wire where I'm just going to let that bad boy hang. Lay it on the ground. Alright, well, you can tell this door's been apart before. That's not factory tape. Okay, we can see the door handle now. Let me give y'all some light. My little handy dandy uh, hood light. Okay, we're going to reach in there and undo these clips, pull back on it, pull that rod out, same with that top one up there, push up, being careful not to break it, 
shine y'all a little light in here so you can see what I'm dealing with. This rod up here. That clip's wanting to be stubborn. Get out of there. Don't break. Come on, baby. There we go. That's for the... That's the main lever, I think, yeah. That's for a latch assembly lever. I don't know why it's not wanting to come out. There we go. Being stubborn. Yeah, it didn't break on me. All right, now we got two 10 millimeter bolts right there on the handle itself. And that's what this little hole's for. Pop out the little cover. This is a magnetic socket. It's a good investment. Go ahead and switch the direction of that. All right, now we should be able to pull this handle out with ease. All right, she's out. And that clip went flying, but we have a new clip on the, but not on the lock assembly. You gotta swap this lock assembly over. Sometimes these have a C-clip on them. This one don't. You just twist it and pull up. Counterclockwise. Locks into that tab and the bolt for the door holds it in. Just like that. That's an easy one. Okay. Let's fish her back in. Just like that. Nice and flush. and get this bolt started by hand. Okay. And we're not gonna put those rods back on until we get our bolts tightened down. The handle will move. All right. Those are tight. Now it's time to put the rods back in. So you give you all a little light here. Push that into the clicks and secure your uh, clip. Same with the bottom rod. Swing that clip back. that in right you ever have these fucking dumbass tuner lugs fucking back out no I'm doing a video oh, okay. yeah, he didn't know I'm doing a video sorry about the language like I said these kids always want to talk to me as soon as I start doing a video, it never fails, but they're just curious. I was once their age too. That's how you learn. All right, I'll put the little cover back in, just like that. Now normally I would open and close the door before I put this panel back on to test it, but because that wire's on there. I don't want to cut the wire when I close the door, so I'm going to assume it's working. Now let's, uh, 
Let me go get him another zip tie. I don't know. A lot of extra wire. Trying to find my cutting dikes here. Hmm. Maybe they might be in this car I was working on earlier. There they are. Yeah, this nightmare right here. Gonna be security mobilizers bad, so I'm gonna be bypassing that that system with the old uh, resistor trick. Just waiting for the resistors to get here. I ordered them online. Pretty common problem on the older GMs. All right. Let's just bunch this up real good like they had it. Dealing with people's aftermarket crap. Don't want to get that stuck in there. Get that free. Zip tie flipped on me. Get in here. Get the excess off. All right, let's hang our door panel. Make sure you get it over the lock. Just like that. Now. A good tap on the sides and bottom. Get those clips seated. Go ahead and put that back in. Get in there. All right. Make sure we get our wires. that back out a little. That got trapped down in there. Oh, we'll go ahead and put this switch back in. Slide that back like that and then push it down like that. A little rod right here. Clip over. This is the fun one. Get in there. Let's get that flathead screwdriver. All right. Now push forward like that. A little screw right here. Tight. And our last two screws in the center. Get 
and I brought my drill out here with the Phillips bit in it, but it's not long enough to reach through these deep holes. Pop the little cover back in. The other one's missing. Just like that. That's how it's done. All right, now we're going to test it. Excuse me. Make sure the lock's working. Make sure the inner door handle works. all your windows everything works just like that and that's how it's done fellas anyways I hope this vi our video I always want to say vehicle or whatever v vehicle video has been informative y'all please subscribe and check like down below y'all have a good day peace out YouTube